Let's start with a bang. I like to ask people how long it takes them to manually set up a file for a roll fold. I get anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour. Watch this. Now that's fast. Of 11 what we call base folds. Um, you can click on those folds and you can animate them. Um, you can also get more information about each folding style. The FoldWrite system also is a level system that helps guide you um, for budget issues. There's also considerations and other details about each folding style, which is really useful. Um, you also have the ability to modify folding styles. So you can, there are 11 base folds, but you can modify for up to 85 different folds uh, within FoldWrite Template Master. So as you can see, we're rotating, we're turning it into a broadside, all sorts of neat things you can do. And then you can always revert back to the original fold that you chose. Step three, as where it gets interesting here. We let you build by folded size or flat sheet size. And as you can see here, we're entering in four and an eighth by, oh, let's say eight. You can also build to an envelope enclosure size, which is great because we compensate it for you. So you don't even have to worry about the size. You just know it'll fit in the envelope. Um, you can get more information, and we even have uh, two different levels of enclosure size. Um, if you've got extra inserts and things and you need extra um, compensation, you can choose the reduced enclosure size. Uh, if you want to build by flat sheet size, we basically reverse engineer a template off of a flat sheet. And let's see here. So you can enter your own numbers or you can also choose from our list of standard sizes. And as you can see here, if you look um, where we're putting the information in the flat width and height, if you look at the folded width and height, you can see the actual finished sizes as well. So you can keep an eye on that. And if you choose portrait or landscape, those numbers are going to change. We can also change our units of measurement if you're interested in that too. And we give you the ability to save presets. So if there are certain folds that you do all the time, you can name them, you can save them in a set of presets, and then you can just populate the information at any time. So there we go. We'll switch the fold and watch the information change. And here's the one we just made. Back again. Uh, we also give you the ability to manage uh, those settings as well. So you can delete them right out. So if you don't want to Use that preset anymore, delete it out. Let's go ahead and build. And as you can see here, we almost immediately have a template. Great. Let's uh, take a look at the layers palette. That's one of the unique things about this software program. You'll start with three layers, and basically your fold marks and fold guides are on separate locked layers. We recommend that you don't move the marks or guides. It's pretty important. And if we zoom in here, you'll see that the name of the folding style is in the slug area. And we also have panel cues as well. And you can see that this is a two-page document, basically side A and side B. And so those panel cues tell you where the cover falls and the back cover and all the other spreads. Let's get some art on the page. So really we've laid these guides and marks so you can align your art exactly with these guides. And our templates are built to trim size. So you just pull your bleeds right past the document edge and you're ready to go. So let's see, now we've snapped to the guides. And let's get another piece of art. We're actually going to do a little uh, demo here of our update template feature, which is a really exciting feature that we have in Template Master. It allows you to update a folding style or a template um, without moving your artwork. So the first thing you have to do to make the update template feature work is you have to save the document. If it's saved and if it's the frontmost document, then you're ready to go. You can just bring up the Template Master UI. You can choose the 
fold you'd like to change it to. You could also just change the size, shave a half inch off the trim size, whatever you want to do. You could even just change the preferences and change the color of your guides or something. Um, then all you have to do is change those settings and hit the update template button and take a look. Watch how the guides moved. We basically switched from a letter fold to an accordion and you'll notice that we just have a subtle adjustment to do here to our artwork. So basically Template Master doesn't move your art but it moves the guides and uh, changes the document size if that's what you want to do. And there's your production ready template ready to use. Just start designing.